Could you please introduce yourself to the audience? I'd be happy to, Rachel. Uh, Greg Gibson's my name and a little bit about my background. I've been in the paper business for about 40 years, a little over 40 years. Uh, I began my career with uh, Champion International. Uh, then in 2000, Champion was uh, purchased by International Paper. I moved from uh, Connecticut to, uh, to Memphis, and I've been with International Paper up until about two years ago when they decided to spin off their uncoded free sheet global business into now what is now, which is now known as Silvamo. And um, earlier in my career, uh, I had commercial roles. And then as time moved on, I moved into uh, more GM roles. And I've had the opportunity uh, over the last 20 years to lead a variety of businesses, whether it be paper business, packaging businesses, or coded board businesses, principally in the US, but also uh, in Europe. Uh, from a personal standpoint, uh, I've, I've been married for over 40 years to a wonderful wife, Mimi. I've got three children, two of whom are married. I'm very proud to be a grandfather. I've got five grandchildren and a sixth on the way in January. So Rachel, those are a little bit uh, fun facts uh, about me. Awesome, thank you. So congratulations on your winning the Stanley O. Styles Industry Excellence Award. So I'd just like to know, could you tell us a bit about what winning this award means to you? I'll be happy to. Um, you know, I've always looked up to the recipients of the Stanley O. Styles Award as people I admired, uh, people I respected, not only for who they are, uh, and the impact that they had on their companies, but also how they went out of their way uh, and spent a lot of time to try and make the industry better. And, you know, I look at that and I say, um, I'm very humbled and very proud uh, to be included uh, in, the, in the group of uh, Stanley O'Sile winners. So quite an honor. Uh, very, very pleased, very happy about it. Innovation and effective management are key qualities recognized by the Stanley O. Styles Industry Excellence Award. So can you share a memorable experience from your career in the paper industry that truly highlighted these qualities? I'll be happy to. Um, in the area of innovation, probably about 15 to 20 years ago, we had a breakthrough in terms of how to increase brightness of paper, but do it in a very uh, cost-effective way. And one of the values that um, really made a difference in this is that we were then able to put, uh, at that point in time, um, international paper on a platform where we could effectively compete against all global papers. Uh, uh, before that, uh, global papers had a higher brightness whiteness and uh, that was a, uh, a piece of innovation that we took to the market that was incredibly successful uh, for international paper. And then as I think about uh, the second part of your question, uh, which is um, uh, the management uh, learnings or experiences, I really think that the, the neat part of being part of Savamo, and Savamo is essentially a two-year-old company, but it's got a hundred-year history. And so when you begin to take a company public, the amount of things that you have to draw upon, whether it be how you pay people, how you compensate people, how you, what products you make, um, how you organize, all those things were things that I could take uh, 40 years of experience and bring to the table, along with really talented people who are my teammates. And we've just had a lot of fun uh, and, and have been very successful uh, starting up Silvamo. So those would be two examples, Rachel, that I'd share with you. The paper industry has evolved significantly over the years. How do you see the role of innovation continuing to shape the industry's future? And just as a second part here, how do you think your experiences have contributed to this ongoing transformation? Yeah, uh, it's, it's very obvious that today uh, the industry is smaller than it once was. Uh, there are fewer mills, there are fewer merchants, there are fewer converters and 
fewer printers. Um, however, what you said is the um, this evolution that we've been through, I think creates a stronger dependency on how to develop a winning value proposition together. And that's the key word together. Um, I think for uh, uh, companies to be successful in this industry, they can't just do it independently. Uh, I think that now uh, the verge of where we are right now, there's got to have to be more uh, reliance on each other. And as I think about, you know, what are some of the things going forward that are going to make a big difference from an innovation standpoint? It may not be product innovation as it historically has been thought of. I think it's going to be innovation around information and how we use that innovation. I think it's going to be, to a greater extent, innovation around supply chain. There's a lot of redundancies today uh, in the business, and I think that uh, the future is going to hold uh, a different path where we're going to have to look at things more holistically, and we're going to have to look at this and say, how is it that, that not just one company succeeds, but uh, both companies or three companies succeed together, um, and I think that's pretty darn exciting. Moving on to our last question today. Looking back at your journey, what advice would you give to young professionals aspiring to excel in this industry while maintaining a strong sense of integrity and commitment? Yeah, I think that's a good question, a very important question. First of all, uh, for young people who are in this industry, I'd say congratulations. Um, this is a great industry. It's changing and evolving, but I think it has a very bright future. So congratulations for being part of this. I think a couple of things that have helped me along the way in my career is there's no substitute for hard work. Um, and so, you know, I think that's really important. Um, I think it's also important to have a mindset of constantly learning or intellectual curiosity. You know, I think the people who have really risen to the top um, uh, in their careers are people who have a curiosity is always looking to learn something uh, that they didn't know uh, before and figuring out how to uh, apply that uh, knowledge uh, to their business. I'd also say that um, relationships matter, particularly in our industry. And so invest in relationships um, because you can learn a lot from other people. And I think together, uh, uh, you're stronger than just trying to do it uh, yourself. And then as we were speaking earlier, um, you know, we're going to constantly change and evolution is going to happen within this industry. Uh, don't be afraid of, uh, about it. Figure out how you can anticipate where that's going and help lead that. And then the bedrock of, uh, of all of this is really um, a personal foundation built around trust, integrity, uh, and strong values. And I think those are really, really important to have um, and to really think about and to act in a consistent way uh, to drive those because your reputation is so very important to your success. And the last piece is have fun. You know, this, you know, business is business, but uh, along the way, you should have laughs and good times. Uh, it just makes it um, uh, much more enjoyable. So those would be a few tidbits to uh, share uh, uh, in terms of advice. 